thanks for joining me and what I'm going to do now is to shut up and leave you looking at this image for a few seconds. It's got some history and here it is. In my coaching work, in my individual client work and in team, and in team work I tend to use um, stock images, photographs to get conversations going and I've been impressed by the diversity of ideas and range of thinking and the, the emotions, feelings and memories that um, the photographic images access and I wanted to take it one step further and move uh, into the sort of world of painted images that I think evoke a different relationship. So I asked my daughter Beth if she could work through a few ideas with me. This is one of the ones she came up with and I'd just like you now to think about the impact it had on you when you first saw it and I can guarantee you that um, there'll be again uh, as, as many impacts as there are people who are watching the track right now. So let's see how this has been carried forward into an actual piece of case work um, that I've been working on this week and you can gather for yourself about the effect it had. Thanks. Well, what happened was I gave my client a series of painted images and asked her to take a, a look and just put them in some sort of order of meaningfulness. This was the first one. My client said that it symbolised what I felt they were before our starting work. A barren, cold, lonely place with very little hope for uh, really just to carry on. And we spoke about um, what might fill in a few of those places and what had made it so barren, what you would want to change, what could be changed as we look towards the future, what could we put on the horizon that might be a little more hopeful. So from that conversation, the next image my client chose to talk about was this one. It represented the brighter, more hopeful place they felt they could head towards and we started to uh, assign some personalities, um, some behaviours to the, the figures represented here and what they might be feeling, what they might be experiencing and what their backstories might be. So we're expanding the conversation, we're expanding the range of the conversation and, and also I think some of the um, aspirational emotions uh, that we carry with us and then we can start talking about well what would we need to do, what steps would we need to take, what steps have we taken that move us in this direction. So I'm sure you can imagine that was a, a very rewarding and you know, for me very fulfilling um, part of the coaching relationship um, and, and that's really important that you know I think as a, as a coach you need to feel um, that you are making uh, a, an impact for the better with people. You can imagine then that my feelings took something of a jolt when the next image she, she produced from the, the selection I gave her was this one. And I thought, oh dear, this is something of a regression. But here's where the teacher is taught. It was far from that. What my client said was, pointing at the shadow, this is what I'm leaving behind and the bit I'm heading toward takes me to that bright place that I talked about in the last picture. That turned upside down completely what I thought this picture might be about, what I thought it might mean to my client and I think it's a very important point that needs making there. It goes back to this idea about of, of meaningfulness and it's what it means to the person who's looking at it and how it relates to their experiences their hopes and ambitions and the way they construct this so that they can tell their story because it is their story and not my version of it. Well I'm now going to leave you with a particular favourite of mine. Um, just <laughs> indulge me, they're my feet. Uh, they're not but they mean that way to me. Uh, as a coach working with people um, I have a, an opportunity to to cast a shadow um, on their lives or to lose some footprints uh, that say we, we have worked together and that shadow should be something that's a product of light not darkness 
and the footprints should be towards a happier and better place, a place of, of warmth and understanding. Going a little bit deeper, uh, your shadow, your footprints, they don't last forever. Everything changes, but we do have an opportunity to make a fantastic impact whilst we're here by listening to, engaging with, and trying better to understand the drivers, the emotions, and hopes and fears of our fellow human beings. I do hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and take very good care. Thank you.